Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Tom Rethogel and today we're going to be talking about an important setting that you need to be aware of when importing Nikon Z9 files into Adobe Lightroom. Let's get started. Okay, so this setting is located in your preferences. Now, as you can see, I'm using Lightroom Classic. I'm on a Mac. To access my preferences, I'm going to go up to the text for Lightroom Classic click on it, that'll bring up a drop down menu and then select preferences. If you're using a PC, then you'll need to go to your edit menu and then select preferences. Once you're looking at your preferences menu, you're going to select presets and the setting that we're discussing today is this raw default setting. As you can see under global, I've got mine set to camera settings. We'll come back to that a little bit later. Okay, so if you're using Adobe Lightroom CC, it's gonna look a little bit different in the preferences window. So I'll go ahead and pull that up now. Uh, so I've got Lightroom CC up and to access preferences, it's the same steps, Adobe Lightroom and then select preferences. The window is gonna look a little different. It may automatically pop up under account. What you'll wanna do is come down to import tab and then you can see your raw defaults here. Now one thing to note, um, if you remember Lightroom Classic, I had it set to camera um, settings for the raw default, and you can see that it's set to Adobe default here. So uh, if you are both a Classic and a CC user, you'll need to set up your raw default in both applications. Now since Lightroom Classic shares the same raw engine as Adobe Camera Raw, um, if I make a change in one, it's going to change the other. Um, so let me kind of show you how, what I mean by that. So you can see I have camera settings here set in Lightroom Classic. And if I bring up Bridge, and I've got a photo selected, and I bring up Camera Raw. Um, right over here, you hit those three dots. You can go down to Set Raw Defaults. And you can see the global setting for raw defaults is camera settings. Now, if I change that in camera raw to maybe Adobe default, hit OK, and then go back to Lightroom Classic, preferences, you're going to see that the global is set to Adobe default. So uh, just remember if you change it in one application, since they share the same RAW engine, it's going to change it in Adobe Camera RAW, which affects both Bridge and Photoshop. But it does not affect Lightroom CC. Okay, so let's dig in and try to understand why this is important to be aware of. Up until the Z9, I just left this global set to camera settings for under the raw defaults. Worked great for my Nikon D850 as well as my other Nikon bodies. But with the Z9, I noticed that leaving it at camera settings, it not only changed the profile, but it also adjusted some sliders, which it had never done before. So let me show you some examples. Okay, so I shot some pics with both my D850 and my Z9, and let's have a look and see how Lightroom handles it, uh, utilizing camera settings for the raw import. So my D850 selected, you can see that the profile is camera neutral, all these sliders are zeroed out, and the detail panel is, is the Adobe default sharpening and zero noise reduction. Now let's look at the Z9 and compare it. So camera neutral selected for the profile, that's good. All of these sliders are zeroed out except for the texture and the clarity. So a little bit of texture, a little bit of clarity being added to the file there. Um, underneath the detail panel, you can see that sharpening is a little different. Um, and also the noise reduction is quite a bit. Both the sharpening and the noise reduction are ISO dependent. So I also shot a, another image with an ISO bumped up to 1000 in the Z9. And you can see that these settings have changed. The texture and the clarity remain the same, but the sharpening and the noise reduction, which makes sense uh, because as we, as we all know, as you bump up the ISO, the more noise um, 
creeps into your image. In my experience with the Z9, especially at the base ISO, I haven't found it necessary to add any noise reduction as long as the exposure is dead on. Okay, so looking in the shadows of this image, let's see, I've got the one with at base ISO, yep. So looking at the shadows here, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the noise reduction that was applied at import. And it's probably hard to see on YouTube with the compression of the video file, but going through this image and looking at all the shadow detail, I'm not seeing any kind of noise um, really anywhere in this image. So I don't see an, the need to apply any kind of noise reduction. So let's have a look at this ISO 1000 file. As you increase ISO, well, then noise creeps into your image. So if we go ahead and zero that out, so now uh, I'm not sure if you can see that with the compression on YouTube, but yeah, there's definitely some noise here in the, in the dark areas of the image and the shadows. So that noise reduction was, was helpful. The thing you really got to be aware of is if you're using third party software for your noise reduction and you have this set up to where during import noise reduction is being applied to your file and then you export, let's say you want to edit in on one no noise. It's going to edit, edit a copy with your Lightroom adjustment. So then you're going to have softness built into your image and then additional noise reduction being applied to it, which is probably not what you want. So just being aware of that is important. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully it gave you a little insight into what Lightroom is doing with your Z9 files. If you found this video helpful, please give me a, a thumbs up and maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I've got some on location videos planned for the next few weeks. I'll be heading out west in a few days to shoot some landscape photography. So stay tuned for those. Till next time, see you later.